That is a very nice teapot, Fern. Thank you for that. Cold tea. Cold tea? Like a, a, a shivered timber. Kind of. I still don't understand why we need uh, it. But you will. Now, you will note that we have some plain paper. Yeah. But that don't look very piratey, does it really? Mm, not really. No. So what we do is we, uh, we rip the edges, so we make it look old and aged. Ah, oh, I see. Ripping, yeah. That's looking a bit rough now, isn't it, eh? <laughs> like you. Yeah, you're honest. And uh, we do all four sides. Yeah. One more corner. And it's looking remarkably like proper treasure paper, but... It does, yeah. It looks white. It does look white. And treasure maps need to be aged and uh, brown and a bit sort of, uh, well, ancient. <laughs> like you? Yeah. How do we do that, then? Well, ha, the tea. Oh. We pour the tea into here, like that. Like a, like a bath. It's like a dirty swimming pool. <laughs> and uh, we put the paper in, like that. Um, and we soak it with the tea. Sure, it's going to make it dirty, but yeah. it's all wet now. Yeah, but what we're going to do is we're going to hang it up oh. so that it can dry. Oh, won't that take a while? It will, but I'm a forward planner, you know, Fern, and it just so happens I have one here in <laughs> my pocket. You had one the whole time? Yeah. Why do I need to get the tea then? Because you need to do it yourself so that you learn, lazy. Valid point. Yeah. So we have our paper. It's all ready to go. <gasps> and now we get to draw our map. Excellent. So we have to decide what we want to put on our map. So and that's where you come in. So what do you think we need to add um, to our map? I was thinking 